story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. What's my friends? It's me, Gina, and in this video, I am here with a wash and style with African Pride products. This video is not sponsored. I know a lot of sponsored content with African Pride is going around, but I ain't one of them. I know we should feel some type of way, but I genuinely wanted to try these African Pride products, especially when they came out with their new curl mousse. I knew I wanted to give it a try, so I decided, you know what, I have a few videos of African Pride already. I think it's time to bring a washing style to you guys. So yeah, but before we get into this washing style, if you have not joined our Smartphone family, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscription button as well as the notification button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And let's get into this washing style. So what I used in this washing style, I pretty much have all of African Pride's products. But what I use in this washing style is their Moisture Miracle Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo. I then use their Hydrating and Strengthening Leave-In Cream. I also use their new Rose Water and Argan Oil Soft and Smooth Curl Mousse. And then I topped it off with their Strengthening and protect five essential oils with vitamin E and that's what I use to unravel my flexi rods So yeah, um, I'm not gonna ramble on too long. We're gonna get straight into This washing style. So I'm first gonna start off by shampooing my hair with the African pride shampoo moisture miracle shampoo um, I am gonna say that This shampoo is not a bad shampoo, but it's nothing spectacular. It cleanses your hair um, It lathers nicely and it does what it's supposed to do, but I've been using some really, really good shampoos lately, like my Camille Rose Fresh uh, Cleanse from the Lavender Collection, the Mish Beauty, Algewa Beauty Shampoo. Those are some really, really good shampoos that literally knock me off my feet every time that I use it. Um, so if you, this, this shampoo is not something that you need to go out and buy. If you already have it, it definitely cleanses your scalp, definitely keeps your hair cleansed. Don't have to worry about anything like that. Like I said, it does lather. Um, it did help get rid of gel. So it's just a good shampoo. It's cheap. It's affordable. So you don't have to break the bank for the shampoo or anything like that. Now, I didn't use the heat activated mask in this washing style, but I wanted to show you guys because I have used this uh, activating mask before and I will link that video so you can check it out. But after deep conditioning, I'm then going to section my hair into four sections and go in with their leave-in cream. Um, I've used this leave-in cream before in previous videos for braid out, so I'll link that. But this is a great affordable leave-in. Uh, African Pride is has really good products for their price tag. I like this leave-in. It's thick. It's creamy. My hair feels moisturized. I get a lot of slip from this leave-in. So I'm just going to apply this leave-in to all four sections of my hair, making sure to get it in all the strands before I go in with their next product. Um, the next product that I'm going to use is their new Curl Mousse. I think that's what it's called. It's the Rosewater Coral Mousse. Um, I just, once they drop this line, I wanted to try it. And as you guys can see from the pump, look how thick that foam is. It is a beautiful foam and honestly this foam is what made me want to go out and purchase like two or three more products from this line just because the foam like I don't know about you guys but so one of my favorite hairstyles even though I do braid outs and twist outs all the time my favorite hairstyle is actually like flexi rods and perm rods and so I actually like really enjoy foams but they just take so long to do now that my hair is longer so that's why you don't see them often. But anytime a company drops a foam, I'm like always interested in trying it and I will suck it up and do a flexi rod or perm rod set. So I just sped this part up. I have tons of videos on me doing a flexi rod set. I am doing the flexi rod sets on like I'm rolling them flat, not spiral. So I'm going to get like a spiral curl from it. Um, these are like medium size flexi rods and I'm just going to do all my hair. I can't tell you how many I did, but it took my hair like four hours to dry even under a hooded dryer. I need a new dryer. If anybody wants to send me a new dryer, I'm all for it. So I'm going to use the African Plot oil and I'm going to use that to help me unravel just to minimize that frizz. Okay, so this is my final results of my flexi rod set in this washing style with African Pride. Um, I like, 
African Pride didn't let me down. I really like these products. Um, I know you guys can see a little flaking right here. I did get a little flaking just because I used too much of that foam and I know exactly what happened. I had did these sections too big and so I unraveled them and then I added more foam. I should have never done that and it sucks because this is the front of my hair but no other part is flaking so just forewarning be careful with that but yeah this is a yes for me. I essentially like all the products. I don't think the shampoo is something you have to run out and go get. Just use what you have. But I think this foam, this is a game changer. This foam is nice. It's thick. It doesn't run. It's not watery. So you already know it's going to be a good foam. And I definitely see myself buying another one of these, doing some more perm rod sets with these. And I am going to do a comparison foam with this product because this is a nice foam this foam is nice i'm not gonna lie so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this washing style if you did make sure to thumbs it up and i will see you guys in my next video bye so you really made it to the end of the video you the real mvp but because you made it to the end of the video i know you like my content so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other uploads also, make sure you check out these other two videos that I posted on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching.